We, the Japanese people, are determined to never allow the devastation of war to be repeated ever again for the sake of present and future generations. By upholding the international order based on the rule of law, Japan and the Philippines, together with other like-minded countries, become united partners in building a world founded on peace, harmony, and goodwill. As we face difficult international situations around the world, such as those in Ukraine and the Middle East, as well as the complex security environment in the Indo-Pacific region, including in the East and South China Seas and over Taiwan Strait, Japan reaffirms its commitment to maintain and strengthen the rule-based international and maritime order that we have protected together for decades. We must never allow any attempts to unilaterally change the status quo by force. With this in mind, our trilateral cooperation with the Philippines and the United States serves as a symbol of our shared commitment to promote a free and open international order based on the rule of law, to showcase our testament in further strengthening trilateral cooperation, we look forward to the historic first ever Japan-Philippines-US summit meeting with the participation of His Excellency, uh, President Marcus, the day after tomorrow. Together, we will continuously work towards steadily materializing cooperative efforts in the areas of defense, strategic infrastructure, cyber, economic security, and energy. Let us seize this moment to affirm our commitment as strategic partners, an ally, uh, and friends in building a future preserving the peace and prosperity in the region. I believe that this is the best tribute we can offer to the souls of those who passed away in the fighting that took place here 82 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, I re assure you all that Japan and the Philippines will continue to cooperate fully in ensuring greater progress and prosperity for all nations and the world at large in times of both crisis and prosperity. Once again, please allow me to express my sincere gratitude and respect to all the veterans who fought for the peace of the nation and the world.